Hey y'all, welcome into Lemons to Lemonade. My name is Kara and we're a furniture flipping family located deep in the heart of Texas. We do our best each week to bring you a unique furniture flip with a twist. And this week is no exception. So follow me out to the garage and I'll show you what we're up to. Come on, let's go. This week's flip is something really special. This week you're going to watch us fix our very own mess that we created 10 years ago. Oh yes, you are going to see our very first furniture flip that we attempted. This is my daughter's dresser. We found this on a garage sale site a decade ago when she was born and we were flat broke at the time. We desperately needed a place to store her books and baby clothes. So in the car, this went. I mean, you can't be free. But when we got this home, I grabbed some old latex paint from the garage. I did mention we were broke, right? And went to work. I mean, what was I thinking? I was thinking it was free and I needed a dresser to put onesies and diapers in. So today, we are going back and fixing our old mistakes. Oh my goodness, you guys, do you see all the bleed through on this dresser? I'm like embarrassed to show it all to you, but you know, I didn't know what bleed through was back then. We just went for it. So we're going to give this thing a nice good scrub. It wasn't that dirty. It just had some stickers on it and some fingerprints and the little marks that you see are just the latex paint chipping off. And we'll get to fixing that later, but simple green to the rescue to give it a nice good scrub to get off any grease or grime before we get started. We're going to remove these big crystal knobs. I have been informed by my daughter that these are no longer cool, so we are gonna take these off and find some new ones to put on this dresser. Now it's time to go back and fill in all the gouges that we missed before. We certainly didn't know what wood fill was on dressers before this began as well. So now it's time to fix all those spots. This dresser originally had a little door on it that swung open. When we got it, it was no longer there, but we didn't fix the holes that were there either for it. So time to go back and do all those. A part of the backing needs to be removed. It has a hole in it in the front. It looks like a scratch there in the back, but in the front it is a hole. So this is actually the part that looks like you're looking into the bookshelf area. So this needs to be replaced. We're going to do something fun with the new backing that we're putting in here. With the old backing, we're gonna make a little template onto the new piece of backing so that we can cut out the part that we need. The hot pink on the inside has got to go, so we're going to use some two-time flat white primer by Rust-Oleum and spray paint all the hot pink on the inside so that we can freshen this up with a lighter color. Mm -hmm. 
I'm going to take this chance to go over all the bleed through that was on the outside of the dresser as well. I ended up doing two coats of this primer. Now that my primer is dry and my wood fill is dry, I'm going to go over it with a 120 sanding grit and take down any of the wood fill that I put on. And then I'm also going to go over the whole piece with a 220 grit just to rough up the surface and get it prepped for paint. My daughter chose the color Clary Sage by Sherwin-Williams in their Krylon chalk paint finish. I did this color on an MCM dresser set not too long ago and she loved that dresser set. So this is the color she wanted for her furniture. We've got the chalk paint loaded into our gravity fed HVLP spray gun and off we go. I plan on doing a video shortly on our Sherwin-Williams chalk paint that we like to use. I get a lot of questions about this in the comment section. Uh, so I'm gonna bring you some more information on it. I know not a lot of people use it, but I love it. It's our favorite brand and I'm gonna tell you guys just a little bit more about it in the future. She also picked out the peel and stick wallpaper that I used on a secretary desk not too long ago over on our YouTube channel. And so luckily for her, I had plenty of this left over and we just peeled and stuck this onto the backing. She also chose the stencil that we got today at Hobby Lobby. It is called Designer Series and we're going to use this on the drawers. So in order to use the stencil, I'll use a small paint container and I'm going to use the color Snowbound in our chalk paint by Sherwin-Williams. I'll also use a very small foam brush to put this on with. I'm going to tell you right now, I am so not a stencil person on furniture. This is one of my first times doing this and I'm going to give the client what she wants on this one. So this is a little outside of my comfort zone, but I'm going to line up the two bottom drawers and make sure my stencil is safely in place. My idea here is to have the flowers look like they're kind of crawling up the drawers and so I'm literally holding my breath the whole time I'm putting this paint on. I am scared of this stencil, but um, I'm gonna learn that I didn't need to be, and I'm really glad that I tried something new.
This dresser had some outdated round feet on the bottom of it, so we are gonna take those off. Those need to go. Hobby Lobby had the cutest little pumpkin knobs on sale today for 99 cents. We just couldn't resist these and I knew they'd go so well with the wallpaper. Now we just need to put the backing back on and it's almost time for the big reveal. Be sure to join us next week for our Halloween fall flipping challenge. We are hosting 20 some other YouTubers and we are all challenged to do our best fall or Halloween piece. Be sure to tune in next week. It's going to be on Saturday and we look forward to seeing you then. The playlist will be linked in the comments. Be sure to stay tuned for the big reveal and we'll see you next week on Lemons to Lemonade. Why won't you be in my video? Why? Why won't you play along and be in my video?